Hello, You Can Heal family. We are here today on eight, day 18, and we are beginning, why, why can't I talk? Now, we are not beginning anything. We are moving right along with our self-love, self-care idea challenge, and it is day 18. Now, today I'm gonna to have a little demonstration day, okay, because I've got some self-care things for you, and like I always say, some of you might already do, you might some already know, or you might need a reminder or a walk back down memory lane for some of these things. So, um, are you ready? Well, let's get started. So, if if we're, you guys, I don't know why I can't talk. I don't know why. If this is your first time watching, hi, my name is Sheena Major. Right there, Sheena Major. And yes, this is a real book. It's a great book, you guys. It's not a long book, but it's got the secret to healing from all your trauma, all your toxic relationships, all the unhealthy experiences you've been through. So go ahead and grab your copy on my website. So um, yeah, there you have it. But while you're on this healing journey, there's some things you can do to care for yourself. And hopefully you already have these things in your house, so there's no need to buy them. If you don't, then consider saving up for some of this, these items so you can practice some of these um, tips. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about something that you don't need any money for. All right, so the first thing, the first self-care tip for you is the old cleaning the neck. Now, do you guys remember when you were little? I don't know if your moms did this, but my mom did. And this is what she actually did. She would take a cotton ball. So remember I said, this is gonna be a demonstration video. Take your cotton ball, and you're rubbing alcohol and you put now you put the alcohol on the cotton ball you know this is self-explanatory right you put your alcohol on your cotton ball and then you clean your neck now you especially after the shower because you will think you just got out of the shower and you don't need to be cleaning your neck but something about the cotton ball and the alcohol you scrub that neck and get behind there and behind your ears you will find that it is not going to look like that now i'm not going to do it on this camera i did mine this morning but just to demonstrate for you put your, your rubbing alcohol on your cotton ball clean your neck the sides the back and behind your ears and then when you look at it you'll see that hmm, that needed to happen and sometimes you might need more than one or two or three and get the job done so this is an old school i don't know if it's just black people did this or what but all people out there watching use the alcohol and cotton ball rubbing alcohol and cotton ball tip okay self-care tip to get nice and clean now you know this is alcohol so you, there's going to be some dryness so after you're going to want to moisturize this is the one i use okay um i was in a mentorship a millionaire mentorship and i bought this from a lady um who was promoting her business um so it's a hawaiian line but anyways it's really good so you know use it on your neck and now remember you guys, when you moisturize, don't don't just do your face, but remember your neck too, and always go up. Now you probably know this. I sold um, Mary Kay a very very long time ago. I sure did, and um, I enjoyed the products a lot. But I realized very early I wasn't very good at it. The business side, I was good at getting the product and getting people to want the product, but um, I was very codependent at the time, and I would tend to give a lot of product away so the bottom lines weren't adding up and but I learned a lot of things on the way and one of them was the importance of moisturizing and we do our our face but sometimes we forget our neck and this is a another side note when you um go outside in the sun always put some make sure you have some sunscreen sometimes your moisturizer can have sunscreen in it but don't forget your neck okay because we gotta we don't want our face to be not wrinkling, but then our neck will. Okay, as you can tell, I'm, I'm getting a little older. Now you can do some. I you can do some exercises too to help tighten your skin like this. Like you you clench and you see how all that goes like that. You can do that. And I watched my mom do this. My mom used Pond's cold cream. You guys remember Pond's? She would just put Pond's everywhere. It was this real thick. It was really thick growing up from what I remember. So yeah, just make sure you get your neck and you can do those exercises where you tighten your neck like that. And 
then always, you know, when you moisturize from Mary Kay, they would tell us you go up and out. So you're pulling back your skin and then you go down and in gently and then out like that. So you're pulling, you're pulling your, your skin, you know, don't be too rough on yourself. And then you go up like this. So yeah, so let me take off my glasses. That's the motion you go up down and you always go in and then when you use your eye cream too you go in a little up and around so you always go in towards the corners down and then back out like that okay so ring fingers you put your moisturizer on your fingertips and then you go around in down and then out and you pull and as you can see you're giving yourself your own little face lift all right you guys so that those are my little tips with the uh you're using your moisturizer always get your neck um and moisturize your skin you guys we must moisturize we can't get lazy at bedtime we have to have some type of skincare routine where you cleanse and then you tone you use your toner and then your moisturizer this is important because um we just we're taking care of ourselves we're taking the time after the rough day we've had trying to fight off the, the enemy right we're fighting off the enemy we're dealing with toxic people and and moving trying to move away from them but in some cases and you might be one of those people where you're still living with someone who um is ch a challenge for you but um when you take time at night you know to do your skincare routine it's just to carve out a little bit of time for you so those are just some tips on how to do it the right way so you always go up and out and then down and around like that and pull your skin back so that's really fun right now the other thing i wanted to talk about is um when you're busy during the day and some of you might be single moms like myself or just busy moms you know married mom whatever but um this one's really important i know i find i do it a lot especially with having the daycare and that's when you have to when you have the urge to go make sure you do we're not, we don't want to hold it because it's not good for our system in any way to hold um, putting off using the ladies room, okay? So when you feel like you have the urge to go, whichever way that is, make sure you prioritize yourself. Don't hold it because you feel like you need to take care of someone else all the time or do this one more thing or do that one more thing. But no, just let, let that be a reminder to you, oh, I do matter, I do come first, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna excuse myself and go to the ladies room and not worry about the other person right now. And also too, if you're out and about doing errands, and I was thinking about this the other day, and sometimes we, we wanna get one more errand done and we're holding it and we're very uncomfortable and it's not good for our bladder, so we can take care of ourselves by like, find a bathroom in your community that you know is clean, like scout one out. I know for me in my area, there's one in the mall um, of department store called Bon Mar and their bathroom is always tip top shape and also Wegmans here in my area. I don't know if some of you have Wegmans where you live, but their bathrooms are always clean. So you gotta kind of scout out ladies, scout out a bathroom in your area if you're out doing errands. So you're not holding it and, and hurting yourself, you know, until you get home. Cause sometimes you, you've got to finish up what you're doing and I know for a lot of ladies, the public bathroom is not their finest, um, finest moment. So that's just another idea for you is scout out of a bathroom outside of your house that you can target, you know, instead of having to wait 45 minutes till you get home, you can drive five minutes to one where you know it's safe and you feel comfortable. So that's, that's that. Now, the other thing I want to talk about was our posture and when we're walking. So I did a little research. So I did the leg work, so you just have to listen up. When we're walking, there's some things we can do to ensure that we're walking properly and, and getting the most out of, um, I don't know, just getting the most out of walking, right? Because, what am I trying to say? I know for me, when I was feeling like I was being torn down in relationships, you kind of carry yourself different. And my daughter has to tell me all the time, you're hunching, mom, you know, you're hunching, your shoulders are rolling in. So I have to be very mindful not to do that. Um, so I looked up some, some things that talk about what is the best way 
to walk. Now the person who wrote the article, his name is James Rowland. It's how to walk properly with good posture. So this is, that's the source. Now it says it was medically reviewed by Daniel Bomness. What is that? M-S-N-A-S-M-C-P-T, comma, N-A-S-E, level two, dash S. Now what is that? C-S-S, comma, fitness. So those are a lot of letters. I do not know what they stand for, but what does Tony Gasson say? We're going to use it right there. It sounds good. It looks credible, but remember, always do your own research. So I, I spelled it out on the screen for you. So this is where this information is coming from. But, you know, like I said, look into some things just to make sure. But this is what the article is talking about. When we're walking, we have to stand straight and picture ourselves tall like a tree pretending there's like a string at the top of our head pulling us up, okay? So you can see this posture compared to this posture, and that looks much nicer, and that's what we wanna go for. Now, he also said, keep your chin parallel to the ground, okay? So your chin's not down here, your chin's up here, you're tall like a tree, the string is coming out of your head to the ceiling, and your chin is parallel to the ground. And he says, you put your shoulders back, relax, and a way to get in this position is 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 um what's shrug your shoulders and then let them fall naturally, okay? And then it'll be lined up just right. So that's that's how our shoulders should be. And then they say your pelvis needs to be in a neutral position, and you're gonna swing your arms from your shoulders, not your elbow when you walk. So you're not like, you know, you're more like a nice flow, all right? So that's that. They said walk, step on your heel, and then your toe. So I don't know if people are doing that, if you're doing that, but that's supposed to be the correct way, heel to toe when you're walking. Um, your core should be tight, so you wanna pull your belly button towards your spine when you're walking. So now we've got, let's see, we've got our tall like a tree, our, you know, the, the things coming up from our head to the ceiling, our shoulders are nice and relaxed and back. And now your core is going to, your belly button is going to go back towards your spine. Okay. And that's going to help with balance and stability as well. So that's really good. And it relieves pressure off your back as you walk. So get that belly button as close to your spine, you know, as possible, like tightening that core. Uh, what else did he say? Oh, when you walk, don't look down. Don't look down, especially, you know, when we have our phones a lot of the times when we're walking, if we're on a walk, because that puts strain on your neck. And he says it puts strain on your back. So try to um, not look down. He also said take long strides. The power comes from the positioning, the pushing off, rather, of your, your rear leg. So you don't want to like over exaggerate your strides, but you just need the power to come from your back rear leg as you push off and you don't roll your hips. They should stay as level as possible. So that's a lot, right? We just, we just want to get somewhere. <laughs> so a lot of times we're not thinking about all these things we need to do, but they are important, especially if, like I said, if, you know, on this channel, we talk about healing. And, and being in a healthy space and having healthy relationships. And if you've been in relationships that have torn you down, you're not, you know, you, you feel defeated. You have felt defeated, you know, and your posture reflects that. You know, you walk around and, and you're moping around and you can feel sad and depressed. But if you, if you, you know, put your shoulders back and put your, you know, your chin level to the ground and pretend there's a string pulling you up to the ceiling and pushing your, your core and your, you look, you just look better, right? Does this, what is, this is, how does this look compared to how this looks? You know, we look fabulous, okay? And this is what you need in your life. You know, and even if you don't feel like this, if you walk like this, the feeling will follow, okay? It will follow because you're gonna feel more confident. And this channel is about giving you that confidence you need. So this is how we're gonna be walking, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, you know, we're gonna have our shoulders back, and, and you can always shrug and then it'll fall right in the right place. Okay, that's a little test. And and the man said in the article, when you're just out and walking around, you can you can shrug and, and to get yourself in the right position 
to be, to be mindful of how you are walking, you know, to making sure you're keeping this correct posture and chin nice and up and, you know, that pretend there's that string pulling you to the ceiling. So that's going to elongate your spine. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Okay, so let's let's practice this idea. Let's try these things. Let's use our alcohol, our rubbing alcohol, where's our rubbing alcohol and our cotton ball to get that extra good clean, you know, the, all those lines in your neck, things sitting there. So we need to deal with that. And then we need to remember to, you know, the motion to uh, moisturize our skin and our eyes use our ring fingers to do that circular motion because that skin under our eye is so delicate. You don't want to be just slapping on your moisturizer. You need to be very careful. Be careful with yourself. My goodness. Be careful with yourself. Be careful with everybody else. Be careful with yourself. Your eyes are very delicate. All right. Treat them well. Treat them well. You know, praise God that he gave them to you. And we want to we want to treat ourselves well, ladies. We really do. So these are some self-care tips. Some of them you may know. So this could be a good reminder to get back in the swing of things of your, your nighttime, bedtime routine, moisturizing your skin, using eye cream if you have it, going in the right direction, and, you know, giving yourself that little facial, pulling that skin back and tightening up, tightening up, tightening up. All right. So was that fun? Did you like that? I don't know. Before I made this video, though, my daughter was clowning with me and just taking all these crazy pictures. Does, does anybody's kids do this where they take the phone and they put it like here and they tell you to look up so all you see is forehead? My God, I should post one of these pictures because they're just ridiculous. And then we get to cracking up. So anyways, I, I'm just telling you that because I kind of got on here a little discombobulated because she had me going. That's, that's blessing I'm talking about, the one who went to the prom. So yeah. That's that's the video for today. Some self-care tips. So remember, we want to push our belly button then. Well, let's start from the top. We want our head, our, our chin parallel to the ground. We want the string coming out of our head. We want our shoulders down and back. We want our belly button pushed back towards our spine. We want our hips uh, relaxed. Okay, we want to walk on the, what is it? The heel of our feet up, up to the ball of our feet. Okay, and we just, we don't want to take really long strides. We want to just take natural, natural strides to take pressure off our lower joints and leg, our lower muscles and leg joints, the man said. So again, his name was, what was it? James Rowland. All right, so if you want to look that article up and read it more in depth, um, that's, that's what you can do. And you can just keep walking around being your fabulous self and looking good and looking strong and looking straight and and being amazing all right so you guys that's it that's it i'm so glad you joined me i hope you're enjoying our time together i find it delightful i really do it's stretching me and it's just showing me you know come as you are come as you are to watch these videos and just be yourself figure that out figure out who you are and be who you are embrace it and love it and just get to know yourself it's, it's a beautiful thing so that's it. We'll talk again and find out uh, what's going to be um, featured for day 19. All right. What do I say? True healing always begins with self-love. And why? Because God is love and he lives on the inside of you. Oh, and this is a sign for God. 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 Mm. Yeah, take a deep breath with me. God loves you and so do I. Talk to you soon. Bye.